thing now now let us get to one important part that is kernel space and user space okay the program code corresponding to the kernel applications or services are kept in a contiguous area which is os dependent of primary working memory and is protected from the unauthorized access by the user programs or applications the memory space at which this kernel code is located is called as kernel space okay that kernel space is basically the memory space in which the kernel code or we could be calling it as a temporary code which is a which is os dependent okay which is completely dependent on the inputs provided by the operating system and the factors dependent on the operating system would be based on the kernel code okay and the memory space at which this kernel code is located is called as kernel space all the user applications are loaded to a specific area of primary memory and this memory area is called as user space okay so that memory area which consists of all the primary memories uh, under which the kernel code and memory space are would be getting executed and that execution part in which the user would be uh, user friendly towards any of the operating system that area is called as user space okay the partitioning of memory into kernel and user space is purely operating system dependent okay the partitioning of memory between kernel and user user space completely depends on the operating system the functioning of the operating system would be essential during this uh, partitioning an operating system with virtual memory support loads the user applications into its corresponding virtual memory space with demand paging technique most of the operating systems keep the kernel application code in main memory and it is not swapped into the secondary memory okay so this was all about the kernel space and user space now let us go with one more important concept called as monolithic kernel okay so this is very important monolithic as well as micro kernel let us discuss it one by one monolithic kernel all kernel services are running inside the kernel space okay so those things are called as monolithic kernels all kernel modules run within the same memory space okay under a single kernel thread okay so this one point you should be remembering that all the kernel modules which is running inside the operating system which that runs within the same memory space and single kernel thread okay same memory space means in a particular memory only that whole the, co the code or the program would be getting executed it should it cannot be interchanged with any other memory the tight internal integration of kernel modules in monolithic kernel architecture allows the effective utilization of the low level features of the underlying system the major drawback of this is if there is any error or failure in any one of the kernel modules it leads to the crashing of the entire kernel application so this is one thing this is one drawback which you want which you should be knowing under monolithic kernel that is if you have any error or failure in any one of the kernel module of a particular kernel space then the entire kernel application would be getting uh, 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 affected and that is a very important drawback under monolithic kernel linux solar is ms dos kernels are some of the examples of monolithic kernel okay so this is again the simple block diagram to represent the monolithic kernel here that is we have applications and monolithic kernel with all os services running in a kernel space okay so they are interrelated so note this diagram under monolithic kernel okay next let us go with the micro kernel the micro kernel design incorporates only the essential set of operating system services into the kernel rest of the operating system services are implemented in programs which are called as servers okay and which runs in the user space okay the kernel design is highly modular and provides os neutral abstraction in case of micro kernel memory management process management timer systems and interrupt handlers are some of the examples of the essential services which form the part of the micro kernel okay so this micro kernel design is simply the uh, it simply it incorporates only the required or the essential part it does not pass all the code memories for, uh, in the operating system which is essential essential for the particular system okay based on that the processing is taking place and after that that uh, the essential part would be setting to the going towards the operating system and the required data is given to that os system and in the based on that the kernel modules are selected okay so this was all about the micro kernel qnx minix3 kernels are some of the examples of the micro kernel okay so this is the diagram here you see here servers servers play a vital role in uh, in uh, interfacing part of the micro kernel and that those are linked with the applications and micro kernel with essential services like memory management process management timer systems are giving interfacing to this 
servers as well as applications. Okay, so this is that basic block. You please note it down. 